But also the night in in Milan when uh, when scored two, and we drew two all. I, mean, I always remember the I don't know how many were there, twelve or thirteen thousand yeah. behind the behind the goal. It was just magic. <laughs> Bonjour everyone, welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. We're coming to you live from a golf buggy here at Close House. They've kindly invited me this weekend for the Asia Tour that starts tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But today, Wednesday, is the Pro-Am. And obviously, you've seen it in the title, you've seen it in the thumbnail, Alan Shearer. Yeah, we are going to chat Alan Shearer, that will be coming up in this video. And it is his foundation today that is hosting this Pro-Am. Obviously, Alan Shearer's foundation, they do brilliant work in the Northeast. He'll chat to you about it in a bit. The link in the description will be for a donation to his site to keep that going. It's been £5 a day to get in for the pro arm. Absolute bargain because you've got the likes of professional golfers, you know, top golfers around Europe from the Live Tour and from the, the, the Asia Tour and all that. You know, they're here today. Abraham Anser, Ian Poulter, Lee Westwood, they're all here today. Alongside some ex Newcastle players as well, Alan Shearer, you know, Steve Watson is here, John Beresford is here. Uh, John Carver's here, Lee Catamull's here, we'll not be chatting to him. Um, haven't seen him yet actually, I would chat him just for the crack, just, just weighing you up, excellent player. Um, and then you've got Jeremy Kyle, who was here again, obviously we've seen Jeremy Kyle at uh, Box Bot Wembley as well, didn't I? I bumped into Jeremy then. So if we can see him, we'll have a chat with him, but I've already spoke to Alan Shearer, but I'm doing the, the intro now. It's, it's been going on a couple of hours this event, it's absolutely brilliant. The, the access you get, I'm getting to the players is fantastic and just having a, a quick chat with them and stuff and it's it's just a, a brilliant day out here and really looking forward to tomorrow as well once that Asia to a big event you know, there's a big purse up for grabs for this one a big prize money so that starts tomorrow Thursday and then obviously it'll finish on Sunday so thanks again to Close House for inviting me down it's an unbelievable golf course it's obviously an expensive one it's one of the best going um, it's very hilly, you know what I mean? You've got to be up for it. It's very hilly, but it's the, the quality is outstanding. Obviously, Lee Westwood is, is sponsored by this golf course as well, and it's unbelievable to have this in our region, to be honest with you. And then when they're bringing these events to the region as well, it's, it's fantastic. You know, bringing some of the top golfers around the world to the northeast is amazing. And obviously, Alan Shearer are doing this day-to-day -day for his foundation, getting some celebrities involved, mixing up with the professionals, having a good day out. It's uh, it's amazing to see, you know, and it's, it's, it's fantastic for us. And I'm sure with Newcastle's connections now to Live Golf, obviously, Yassir Al Ramian, the chairman of Newcastle, is the chairman of uh, PIF's Live Golf as well. So I'm sure we'll see more of these events popping up in the region. It's only good for us, you know. It's it's highlighting Newcastle, the northeast. It's bringing money in. It's it's giving you know there's loads of kids around here today who are wanting pictures with Shira and signatures and everything. We have to calm down. Actually, there's someone teeing off on the first. There's someone teeing off on the first, and we have to come back. He's in a minute. All right. We're joined here, of course, by the legend that is Alan Shearer. Alan, we're here for the pro ramp today. Yep. Uh, some great work done by yourself for the for the foundation at the start of this great event here at, at Close House, the Asian Tour. Do you want to tell me a little bit about that, please? Yeah, they very kindly um, offered to uh, to partner up with my foundation, the International Series England and the uh, and the Asian Tour. So, um, yeah, it's great. I mean, it's tough. It's I know people are so generous, um, but. Um, Charities still have to raise money somehow, so and we we want to give um, our facilities away for free in the respite uh, home on the activity centre. So it was always going to be a yes when they uh, when they offered. And it was a bargain, only five pounds to get in. But uh, and Newcastle got to a flyer last weekend. You said on match the day, you know you're praising Tenali five one. A lot of pundits, not yourself, were saying that Aston Villa were going to finish above Newcastle this season. Newcastle might struggle this season with Champions League. How do you think that'll pan out now? I think any team coming to St James's Park, whether that's in the league um, or in the Champions League, will find it really, really tough because of the atmosphere and the players are thriving off that. It must be great for a player to play in that type of atmosphere. So, um, yeah, I had uh, I had Newcastle finishing in fifth, um, which of course probably will be good enough to get a Champions League spot, depend depending on how um, the rest of the teams do in Europe this year. Um, and I think again that that would that would be a really good season. I hope I'm wrong. I hope we can finish a lot higher. Um, I mean, they'll be full of confidence after the, the weekend result, and uh, they're, but they're going to be tested, of course, on uh, on Saturday at Man City, best team in Europe, winning Tell the treble last year. Um, I would love to think so. <laughs> I would love to think so, but um, yeah, there's no doubt they're the uh, they're the favourites. But they've they're, they've got one or two injury problems. They're playing in uh, they're playing the Super Cup game this yeah, evening, true, so yeah. um, that can only benefit Newcastle. And it's the first time in over 20 years to qualify for the Champions League. Group stage draws in a couple of weeks' time. Mm. Anyone you you would prefer? Well, I, I, by the sounds of it, we're going to be in pot four, so it's almost guaranteed that we'll have a big hitter, or at least one big hitter at uh, at St James's Park. Um, I'm not really bothered. I just want. I'm just delighted that they're in there. Um, they're playing Champions League football again, and they're special nights. They're, they're certainly um, something to remember, and I can't wait for them. <laughs> 
What was your favourite night ever playing for Newcastle in the Champions League? San Siro, uh, seen teams. Yeah, I, think, I think I think it would have to be. I mean, I, I was lucky enough to score hat trick against Leverkusen. Um, that was an amazing mm. night. But also the night in in Milan when uh, when scored two, and drew two all. I, mean, I always remember the. I don't know how many were there. Twelve or thirteen thousand yeah. behind the behind the goal. It was just magical when I saw the ball hit the back of the net. So they're very special nights, and the players have got something to look forward to. And lastly, Alan, this is a really good Newcastle team at the minute. They were fantastic last season. You've played under some great teams, obviously the entertainers, the early 2000s. Mm. One player that you would choose to play with from this current 11? Um, I think there's so many. Um, I mean, the way... The way uh, the way Trippier gets up and down that wing and whips balls, and I'd love to be on the uh, I'd love to be on the uh, on the end of a couple of uh, couple of his crosses. And there's been so it's huge improvements on so many of the players. I mean, Almiron's been superb, and Joe Linton, the course, has been been huge. But probably Trippier, I think he's he was the game changer. He was the first in to try and change things. So, and he's um, he's had a good start. Finally, actually, Alan, there's a lot of my viewers ask this, you know, will we ever see you in, in a capacity at Newcastle United again or are you happy doing the, the television work? No, I'm really happy with, with what I'm doing. Um, I get to see uh, Newcastle, um, not as much as I'd like, but I get to see them on certainly on the TV most weekends. It's a lot easier when they're uh, when they're in the top four than fighting relegation, put it that way. So you're eating right in the studio, Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> we have a good day, we have a laugh. Thanks very much for your time, really All the best, thank you. Thanks, Cheers. We get a quick ah, what a day that has been! <laughs> We've got a massive black and white deck chair here in the fan zone. I'll show you a bit of that as well <laughs> with a few insects crawling over us. But I had to finish off well, a nice little background. That eh? might get on for the house. Would need a large room for it to be fair. But I uh, just relaxing now. You know, I mean, the sun's trying to get out. I feel like I could sneeze at any moment. But what a day that has been! That has been absolutely unbelievable. Um, wow, just wow. Uh, I want to thank you a lot first of all, because like, if it wasn't for you, the viewers, you know, how well this channel is doing and growing and personally, then I wouldn't be in these positions to interview the likes of Alan Shearer, you know, my hero, my idol growing up. Thanks to you a lot, thanks to the following I've got and the work that's been put in over over five years now has, has got me in some of these unbelievable positions like my life today, just walking around the golf course with Shearer, Lee Westwood, Jeremy Kyle, absolutely mental, interviewing Shearer for a good few minutes there. Uh, sensational and uh, what a bloke top bloke and you know you let me know what you think of the interview what he said I thought was interesting I liked the little questions at the end that I had to put in there about who would he pick from the current 11 to be playing with back in his day so he went with Kieran Trippier as the one he would like to play with in the 90s and the 2000s um, obviously mentioned Joe Linton as well love that Almiron on the right and I think he could have listed several players you know, he really could have chucked even Tonali in there after his debut he was picking him up on match of the day on the weekend wasn't he and then Obviously, Bruno, you know, with this team at the minute, there's a lot of them. And uh, Alan thinks we're going to do well this season. I think we'll finish in the Champions League places again, maybe fifth, but that could do the job. He thinks we've got a good chance of going far in the Champions League. He's looking forward to a special night's return at St. James's Park. And yeah, um, it's a great interview. It's great to meet Shira properly there and have a good chat with him. And it's just been a fantastic day. Thanks again to Close House for inviting me for the weekend, Thursday, Friday, and the Saturday, Sunday. But Saturday, Sunday, I'll be in Manchester, but I'll be here. Um, Thursday, Friday as well to watch the golf. The Asia Tour, some brilliant golfers on display here in the northeast. Get yourselves along. You know it's a it's a fantastic event. This and the tick there's still tickets available. The early bird ones and all that have sold out, but you can still grab yourself tickets for I think it's like 15, 20 quid. I mean to see Ian Porter, Westwood, Patrick Reed, some big live golfers. Yeah, you know it's it's heading on the wall. It's it's not too far. So get yourselves along it's a great day you know it's, it, there's loads of stuff going on for the family as well behind me they're the, the getting the fans going ready for tomorrow there's competitions there's giveaways it's brilliant it's a lovely part of the world yeah and it's amazing that it's in the northeast and yeah it came here today five pound to get in for the for the program and those donations do go to the alan shira foundation so you, you're not even paying you don't you, you, you're giving it a charity to be able to come and watch uh, celebrities ex-footballers and current top golfers play it. Uh, unbelievable, really. Absolutely sensational. And then uh, it's been a fantastic day. I've really, really enjoyed it. Shira, by the way, she's just as good on the golf course as he was on the football pitch. Whoa, I think if you've seen that shot that I might have put on during the video on the par three, he was close. He didn't get the birdie, though. A bit like me, that, Shira, really. We're, we're just alike, aren't we? You know, you know, he was close there at the pin, but couldn't land the putt, couldn't get the birdie. And that's pretty much the story of my golf game. Everything's good apart from on the green and uh, the putting's not the best, but uh, it has been a sensational day. And uh, thanks again to Close House. Thanks to all you lot that watched the videos. I really hope you've enjoyed this one. 
uh, smash the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Surely this video has got to get the subscribers and the views up. If, if not, the YouTube algorithm is knackered. It's broke. It's not fair. I'm getting bumped. All right. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. I think I'm going to have a nice little paint tonight to celebrate what has been one of the best days ever. Absolutely unreal. Nice one. Thanks again, everyone. Cheers. See you on the next one. Enjoy yourselves.